for those of us that use Binance US or use Binance in other countries and you, you cannot buy the coins that we talk about on the channel, maybe you want to buy a coin like Creep, for example, but you cannot buy it on Binance US. You can only buy it on Binance because there are two. There's Binance for US and there's Binance Crypto Exchange. So I'm going to show you just a quick demonstration in this video how to use Binance US and send money from that to your metamask wallet and then use that to purchase these coins that we talk about but first before you do that you need to make sure you are transferring money out of your bank account into the binance us crypto app and then you send that or you withdraw that into your metamask wallet so i recommend you get your binance us app ready and then get your metamask wallet ready that's the wallet that i recommend for people all the time but you can also use trust wallets to get started we need to make sure we have these apps ready and remember you can always join our telegram at undervalued crypto and whatsapp channel as well so let's get to it so let's say we want to buy some of these coins one thing i want you to remember is that when you open your metamask wallet they have several networks just like there are several telecommunication networks in crypto we have several blockchain networks so most coins are traded on bnb chain or bep20 or solana network or the ethereum network so in your metamask wallet make sure that you have tapped on your networks to switch to all popular networks or you have tapped the plus icon to import a network like bnb chain network okay makes it simple for you to understand from there so we are going to use bnb chain in this demonstration you can also see that the address is right there in the wallet so if you are sending money out of binance us app the receiving wallet on the bnb chain is going to be the wallet address at the top okay so remember that we'll come to that but i just needed you to understand that first so open your binance us app and you're going to see a big yellow button that says plus okay and then when you tap on that you are going to be given transfer methods there's deposit cash deposit crypto withdraw cash withdraw crypto when we are sending money to metamask we'll be using withdraw crypto transfer to a crypto wallet but before that let's look at depositing the cash from the bank account so we click on that remember if you're buying coins on solana network for example you need to make sure you are sending solana into the metamask wallet if you are buying coins on ethereum network send ethereum to your metamask wallet if you are buying coins on bnb chain network or bep20 network send bnb to the metamask wallet okay so that you always have some money to swap for the coins because you cannot use usdt to swap for those coins all right but what we are going to do right here to make things simpler is to buy usdt now when you buy the usdt you can always swap it for bnb and then now send that bnb into your metamask wallet so let's buy usdt to simplify things okay so deposit cash transfer from your bank account you tap on that and then when you tap on it you're going to get payment methods and right where it says other payment methods you're going to see bank transfer you're going to see top up usdt i could choose to use transfer funds directly from the bank account but it might take some time to reflect the fastest way is to use top up usdt where it would use your apple pay okay or your bank card so you don't have to put in your routing number and all that all right so that's very very fast now i click on top up usdt once i choose top up usdt option it says transact apple pay and then uh, it's charging me about 1.5 to 3.1 percent so i choose that and then right here on the screen i type in how much usdt i want to buy so let's say i want to buy with about 100 dollars. i input it in there and i click on preview and then it shows me the screen here where i'm given the option to choose apple pay all right or to choose the visa card or google pay all right and then i can see my fees as well and i'll see how much i get so it says you pay hundred dollars and then you get 96.22 so that is the fee they are going to be charged they are going to be charging me which is about three dollars and uh 78 okay so i click on buy now and then i wait for about two three minutes it reflects in my account sometimes it might take longer so if it takes like 
10 minutes 15 30 minutes don't get worried it's still going to reflect in your binance us account once it reflects you can i believe by this time you know how to buy other coins so now you have usdt what do you do you just search for bnb and then you make a purchase so now how do you withdraw that bnb into your metamask wallet you're going to click on that icon again the yellow one and then it says withdraw crypto transfer to a crypto wallet and when you click on that you're going to get the option to paste the wallet address i was talking about okay at wallet address and then the amount you enter the amount right there and you send okay so you wait for a while it's going to reflect in your metamask wallet once it reflects in your metamask wallet you have bnb now so you're going to go to coin market cap or deck screener to look for the coin i've thought this in many videos okay but just a quick demonstration you're going to import the token so you click on the plus icon and then go into your browser get the contract address and then paste it in there now if the contract address doesn't show up go to custom you select the network that the coin is on bnb network and then you paste in the contract address and the coin is going to pop up and then you click on ok and then import so once you've imported now you have bnb and you have the coin so you tap on the coin and then you tap on swap you put in the amount you want to buy the first slot will be bnb the second slot will be the coin because you are moving from bnb into that coin on the bnb network remember now if the coin is on ethereum the same thing ethereum you buy ethereum like i said before and then you swap it into that coin not usdt if you are using metamask wallet and you try to swap usdt most of the time it wouldn't work because they haven't provided liquidity for usdt against other coins so let's continue you type in the amount that you want and then you swap basically that's the process another thing you may encounter is an issue where you have to increase your slippage if it's not going through you can just tap on your slippage and then set it to about three percent or five percent maximum if it's still not working you simply go to browser and then you type in pancakeswap.finance and then you connect your wallet from there and your coins will show up or you can simply repaste the contract address in that swap field and the coin is going to pop up and then you swap some bnb for the coin so it's very, very simple that is the whole process and if you want to withdraw you swap back into bnb so basically it's as simple as that if you want to send it to your bank account the same thing tap on the yellow button and then withdraw cash into your bank account you follow the steps and you are good don't forget to join our telegram undervalued crypto thanks for watching the video like and also subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye